Share H19301 underscore V3.0 real questions to prepare for HCSA pre-sales IP network V3.0 exam. 1. A customer's equipment room has limited space and their services are fixed and do not need to be expanded in the future. As the network to be constructed is small, the customer wants to use standard networking. Which of the following cloud fabric solutions is recommended for this customer? A. Multi-pod solution. B. Multi-site solution. CMDC solution. D. Cloud fabric easy solution. Answer. D. 2. What are the capabilities of iMaster NCEIP in the network slicing solution? A. SRV6 based one hop cloud access B1 fiber multi purpose transport based on network slicing C. Integrated security based on in depth traffic identification DL based one click O and M. Answer. Abed. 3. Which of the following statements are highlights of SRV6? A. Application level SLA assurance. B. Network oriented programming. C. Seamless cross domain interconnection. D. MPLS not required. Simplifying network deployment. Answer. A, B, C, D. 4. A security zone, zone for short, is a security concept introduced by a device. Most security policies are implemented based on security zones. Which of the following statements are true about security zones? A. All interfaces of a firewall are added to the trust zone by default. B. Each security zone has a security level which is also called priority. The priority value ranges from 1 to 100. A larger value indicates a higher security level. C. The following security zones are pre-configured in the system by default. Trust, DMZ, and Untrust. D. Users can also customize new security zones as required. Answer. B, C, D. 5. Which of the following statements is false about the technologies used on an IP WAN transport network? A. Flex E interfaces can be completely isolated from each other. Specifically, traffic is isolated at the physical layer, and network slicing is performed for services on the same physical network. B. SRV6 is a protocol designed to forward IPv6 data packets on a network using the source routing model. SRV6 deployment depends on MPLS networks. CIFIT integrates coloring and in-band flow measurement technologies to directly measure service packets. It works with telemetry and NCE to implement real-time visualization of network quality and traffic SLA, proactive monitoring, as well as fast fault demarcation and locating. DMACSEC protects transmitted Ethernet data frames to reduce information leakage and mitigate malicious network attacks. Answer B. 6. It supports unified management of various security devices, including firewalls, IPS devices, and anti-DDoS devices, and allows automatic deployment of security services as well as centralized management of network-wide security policies. Which of the following is it? A. USG B. Seiko Manager CE Site 
D. I. Master N. C. E. Answer B. 7. Which of the following statements is false about telemetry? A. Telemetry is a technology that remotely collects data from physical or virtual devices at a high speed. B. Huawei Cloud Campus Intelligent O&M Solution uses the telemetry technology to collect network device KPIs, implementing collection of user experience indicators within seconds. C. Similar to SNMP, telemetry uses the quick Q&A mechanism between the management and analysis system and devices allowing the management and analysis system to obtain network data in real time for intelligent analysis. D. Telemetry packs the data to be sent, improving transmission efficiency. Answer C. 8. Basic WLAN network architectures include FAT AP and WAC plus FIT AP. Which of the following statements are true about the two architectures? A. FAT APs are usually used on large-scale networks to provide coverage in high-density communication scenarios. B. Although FAT APs work independently, they can detect each other and automatically adjust radio parameters. C. When an AP works in FIT AP mode, it is managed by a WAC and its configuration is also delivered by the WAC. D. When APs work in FAT AP mode, they need to be configured separately and each AP works independently. Answer. C. D. 9. Huawei's smart radio technology supports software-defined radio, SDR. Which of the following are the benefits of this technology? A. In high bandwidth scenarios, the dual radio mode is used to provide ultra-high throughput. B. In high concurrency scenarios, the triple radio mode is used to allow more STAs to access the network concurrently. C. In scenarios with severe interference, the dual radio plus independent scanning radio mode is used. In this mode, the independent radio is used to monitor and optimize the network quality in real time without compromising network performance. D. On a large scale network, APs working in different radio modes can be deployed together, meeting requirements of different services and traffic types, improving network wide performance and saving the TCO. Answer. A, B, C, D. 10. Which of the following are typical application scenarios of the stacking technology? A. Improved reliability. Member switches in a stack work in redundancy mode. B. Increased number of ports. If the port density of the original switch cannot meet the access requirements of users, you can add new switches to set up a stack with the original one to increase the number of ports. C. Increased bandwidth. When higher uplink bandwidth is required, you can add new switches to set up a stack with the original one and bundle physical links of the member switches into a link aggregation group to increase the uplink bandwidth. D. Simplified networking. Multiple devices set up a stack and are virtualized into a single logical device. The simplified networking does not require loop prevention protocols, such as MSTP, making network configuration much simpler. In addition, the use of inter-device link aggregation achieves fast convergence upon the failure of a single device, improving reliability. Answer. A, B, C, D.